Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a you versus them love reading for my dearest Aquarius. Aquas, I'm going to read your energy on the left, your person's energy on the right, and then we're going to see what's happening between you guys right down the middle. Now at any point in time, feel free to swap the energies that I may be picking up on. I also urge you to play with time. This could be a past connection, a current situation, or an energy moving towards you in the next couple of weeks. Um, and before I get started, I do just want to say thank you so much to each and every one of you, those of you who are new and returning, for all the love and support that you show this channel. It really means the world to me. So let's get started, Aqua, and let's see what's going on here in this connection. All right, messages, please, for my Aquarius. Regarding the person they're romantically, energetically linked to. So your energy, the hangman cancer got the same exact card in the same place. So you might be dealing with a cancer, although this Neptunian energy really does represent Pisces. So you could have Pisces or cancer in your chart, um, or you could be dealing with one of those water signs. Wow. You view your person as the three of cups. Beautiful. And the connection as the five of swords in reverse. Beautiful. Your person is showing up as the judgment card, Scorpio Aries energy. They're viewing you as the Ten of Wands in reverse. Ooh, I feel second chances all over this reading, Aquarius, and the lovers in reverse. All right, so some decisions to be made here, you guys. For some of you, um, somebody is in a third-party situation or in another connection. <clears throat> we get the Queen of Cups. A lot of water, a lot of emotion, a lot of love. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there may be a karmic third party that's holding you guys or keeping you guys apart. And we get the Strength card, Leo Energy. Wow. All right, overall energy, Justice in Reverse, Libra Energy. Yeah, a lot of you guys, this could be a Twin Flame or a Soulmate Connection. I mean, we have so many major arcanas showing up. We have the Hanged Man, we have Judgment, we have the Lovers, we have the Strength card, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Justice card. Some of you feel like... You're, this is your person, your divine counterpart, and you're in separation. You could be going through a divorce. Um, for others of you, there's like a karmic third party that is sort of in the way, okay? Um, but that doesn't have to be the case. It could just be karma that's that needs to be released, something that's happened between you guys, or old relationship baggage needs to be left in the past. Um, so yeah, let's dig into this. So we have the hanged man. This is your energy. So I feel like you're kind of hanging out, waiting, waiting around to see what unfolds here. Um, and we get the five of cups, but you're, you're sad. You're grieving. Um, you wish things would speed up. I feel like you wish this person would reach out or things were different. Some of you guys, um, you know, I'm, there's a weird message. It might be somebody you haven't talked to in like a long time and you found out that they're married or they're with somebody else. Um, you weren't expecting that. All right, that's not going to be for all of you. You view this person as the Three of Cups, as somebody who makes you really happy, but the Queen of Swords in reverse. But there's also something that you're having a really hard time getting over, Aquarius. I don't know if it's something that they said. I don't know if they stopped communication. I don't know if they chose somebody else over you. The Queen of Swords in reverse can be somebody who does get quite nasty or, or says things that, I don't know, weren't too nice. Um, there could be that there was a fight or an argument between you guys, like during, you know, a holiday party or celebration where maybe there was alcohol involved. <clears throat> Interesting. And and again, there could be a, a, a sort of a historic fight or argument between you guys that you're having a hard time letting go of. But you do see the potential for healing this connection. But you're pulled in two different directions because part of you is still feeling quite defensive about whatever this is that split you guys up. Um, there could be distance or travel is a bit of a problem. Um, but I also feel like a bit of a blocked throat chakra. Okay, like having a hard time, like either this person it has a hard time expressing emotions or you do. Mm. It's like you want to manifest this, but maybe you don't know how. I'm, I kind of feel like you're just waiting to see what happens or how things unfold or if they reach out. Well, look at that. As I say that, I'm looking at this judgment card. She's reaching her hand out. All right, judgment is all about second chances. So this person may realize they judged you or the situation incorrectly. They may be coming in to rectify that. Scorpio Aries energy. This person is coming in to make you a love offer, Aqua. 
<laughs> yeah, I feel like a lot of you, you're not going to see it coming. You're hoping and wishing and praying for it is what I get. Like it's something that you really, really want. This person is going to like bring, like they're going to pull out all the stops. I feel like trying to like win you back or make it up to you. Yeah, they see you as the Ten of Wands in reverse and the Page of Wands. So they see you as somebody who's fun, exciting. They want a new beginning with you. They're ready to release the past. Um, it depends on what they did. But for some of you, there was some sort of third-party interference. So it's going to be up to you, right? No good reader is going to recommend that you go back to somebody who cheated or hurt you or lied to you. Um, but this person does see you as their soulmate in separation, lovers in reverse, and the king of wands. All right. So some of you guys, yeah, this person wasn't able to commit because of some sort of third party. And I was picking up on that in the beginning. And I am I still kind of get it with the wheel of fortune in reverse that there was some sort of karmic relationship that needed to be let go of or released. Maybe some of you guys, this person is leaving behind a job or a contract or a relationship or a marriage to make this offer to have the second chance with you. Um, they might be a little bit worried now of course it could be it could be you aqua as well I mean it's like you could be with somebody else and this is somebody that you're crushing on or who's crushing on you so again just use it um, take the information as it resonates so the queen of cups there's a lot of love here somebody here has had a hard time in love but they're ready to make another offer but they're holding back this could be you this could be them so I feel like it's just like some, and the Four of Pentacles is also an energy of protecting oneself. So I do feel that you maybe and or this person have both been hurt and loved. So you have a tendency to sort of hold back emotions in order to not get hurt, right? Like a little bit of that, you know, covert avoidance. All right. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So there's something that's stuck here. And again, I do feel that some of you, it could be a job. Or it could be another relationship, like if your person um, has financial ties to someone, okay? Maybe they have children with somebody else. Maybe they share a home or assets with somebody else. Um, like there's, they can't quite nurture, somebody here wasn't able to nurture their connection, okay? And, and that's something that really does need to be looked at. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Again, it could be that third party that's sort of keeping things stuck, and we get the strength card, Leo energy, and the five of wands. It's going to take strength and courage, but you guys absolutely can reconcile and heal this connection. Again, I know some things are triggering for some people. And so like, you know, if this is like a third party situation, use your best judgment. Okay. But I do feel with the strength card and the five of wands in reverse that there can be healing and reconciliation here, but it's going to require that you both sort of compromise, let go of the past. Um, and you may, this may be a situation where two soulmates had to come apart to evolve separately in order to come back together. We get the strength card in reverse. Yeah. Both of you guys really strong, uh, Leo energy, but both of you guys are feeling quite exhausted and drained either from what's happened, fighting and argument, arguing, or just simply being away from one another is what I'm getting. So let's see what else we can get for my aquas regarding this connection, please. All right. New love, a new love or recommitment to love is developing. Yeah. And it's time to decide about this relationship. Some of my Aquarius, like I said, it feels like there could be third party here. You could be with somebody else and this person comes back in and it sort of throws you through a loop. This person could be ending something to come towards you. So you just need to, you know, use your best judgment there. Mastery, you've learned the spiritual lesson. Nice and patience everything will unfold in divine timing and i kind of get that with the queen of pentacles and the wheel of fortune stuck in the middle is that like learning the lesson like and not repeating the past you know past mistakes um and being patient is what's going to bring you two together okay we do get unavailable yep just confirmation i don't know if this person is currently unavailable um, you are going to need patience here, but I feel like they're freeing themselves up to make you this offer and whether that's freeing themselves up from mental conflict, um, or they're freeing themselves up from a job or, you know, or another connection, but it feels like they're doing what they can to make themselves available, but it's going to take strength, courage, and patience here. All right. And so we never recommend Aqua that you put your life on hold, keep doing you. 
do your healing work, change your focus even. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised what kind of comes in here. And it's kind of similar to the Cancerian reading as well. So check that out if you feel drawn to it. Deliver me from temptation. And nobody nobody is like you. You are exceptional and you are special. Some of you guys, you met this person and they were married. Or they could have been your boss. Or something where it was sort of taboo or, you know, quote unquote against the rules to be together. But they are just so taken by you, Aqua. Okay. They're so taken by you. I look at your pictures for hours on end. You are still so beautiful to me. So they're definitely watching you on social media or, you know, take a look at, you know, whatever they have saved on their phone. And I fear that you will never look at me the same. It's hard for me to look at myself in the mirror. Wow, this person doesn't want to lose you. This person also has regret and remorse about anything that sort of came between you guys or pulled you guys apart. So you've got some big decisions here, Aqua. All right, let's see what else comes through. We've got energy of love. So there's a lot of love here. Behold the world through the eyes of love. This person is like, I, I just heard star-crossed lovers. I'm hearing like they get like all goo-goo-gaga around you um, or when they think about you. Wow, I don't know what you've done to this person, Aqua. They get weak in the knees. That's what I heard when I, all these little puns um, or sayings rather. You are the driver and the navigator. You're much more in control here, Aqua, than you than you believe. So I know you feel like you're on pause. You're looking at all the details, but shift your point of attraction. Shift your focus away from this person, away from this connection, and you're going to see that things unfold for you in a beautiful way. And slow down to relax, break to enjoy the beauty around you. So some of you guys, um, this you know, you or this person maybe was working really hard, but. More than anything, I'm getting that this relationship was slowed down or put on pause to for you guys to really see it differently, to recognize that you guys are soulmates, recognize the potential here or what needs to change in order for you guys to have like a happy, healthy connection. All right. So I really like this energy. Okay. And this unavailable card, you guys, like this wanted to come out in reverse. So I just, I keep looking down at it and it was like, this person may not have been available before, but I feel like they're doing what they can to come towards you and offer you something solid. Yeah. Happiness, joy, enjoying each other. I love that. The runner, somebody, somebody may have pulled away from this connection, but I actually feel like this person is getting a lot of clarity and they're sort of fixing things so that they can kind of run towards you because he's running towards that paradise, towards happiness. Um, and we get heartbroken. Yeah, this person, this person I feel is a lot more heartbroken than you realize. I know you are as well, Aqua. So, um, but I, I just feel like this person like wants to wants things to go back to the way they were or wants to be with you again, wants to restore happiness. And they see that with you. But it is going to take a lot of strength and courage to resolve the conflicts and to sort of, I don't know if it's like get on the same page. There may be like real actual obstacles like jobs and moving and things like that is what I'm getting. Oh, and I just sort of bit my tongue there. So, all right. Um, and we get heart with a key. So opening your heart, getting together, perfect, welcoming love and meeting the one. So I also feel like this is a strong protection um, message here. Yeah, this person can't stop thinking about you. They're definitely going through a definite transformation. I do feel like a lot of you, they're leaving behind a difficult situation, that queen of pentacles in reverse, whether it's a job or maybe even bad health, but for some of you, like a really unhealthy relationship or situation um, to move towards you. So I see beautiful things here, Aquas. Trust your intuition. Make sure you don't rush into anything before you know what their true intentions are and if they're available in the way that you need them to be, okay, before you make a decision. Um, but this person is taken by you, absolutely. So I'm going to leave it here. If these messages resonate, I am going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All right, you guys, love and light. Take care.